Welcome everyone to AI for the Average Joe, season two, episode four. Um, and it's Hayley and myself today. Feels a bit weird, Hayley, doesn't it? Just for the two of us again. I know, here we are again, rabbiting on about that <laughs> GPT. <laughs> so the reason we have added this episode in is um and if you've logged onto chat gpt recently you'll notice there's been some significant changes and when i talk about chat gpt i'm talking about four which is the paid subscription service about 20 dollars a month if you're not subscribing it uh, to it already definitely worth it we're not on commission by the way um but there's been some really interesting updates to it which we wanted to share really practically with you guys because I know that goes down really well every now and again when you when you do a bit of a work along with us so what I've noticed in ChatGPT 4 now and you might be aware of this already is that there's an option now called explore GPTs where effectively it now gives you a list uh, a GPT store if you want or a number of templates and Hayley, we were looking through this the other day, weren't we? And we were quite surprised with what was on what, what was on offer. I know. It just feels like there's a real mix of different things. Like there's yeah. it, it's almost touching on kind of every need really that people would have, whether that's personally or professionally. Um so again, there's going to be things here that will be relevant for others that aren't so relevant to us, but um yeah. it, just like they would with any apps or anything. But yeah, it's it, it's there's some brilliant stuff in here. We've been having a good play around with it already. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So one of the ones that we wanted to demo to you before we've demoed um, using ChatGPT to write some content and then copying and pasting that into Gamma AI, um, and that still works and that's great. Gamma, Hayley, Gamma's got a licensing thing, right? What yeah, yeah, I started using um, Gamma. That's kind of been my go to really. But then um, I was running out of the free credits. You get X amount of That's free it. credits and then you've got to um, start the paid subscription, which I was quite close to doing because I was using it a fair bit. Mm -hmm. um, but then now that I've seen that it's integrated into here, it comes in under the subscription that we're paying anyway for GPT. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and I like that. It's kind of an umbrella thing because you can get a bit overwhelmed with all the lists of um, different AI eyes can't you sometimes you think what do I go to for this and how do I remember what it's called and yeah. all the rest of it whereas this PowerPoint maker I think is brilliant so what should we create a uh a, some slides on what should we ask it to do oh um how about um holiday destinations in Europe create five slides on holiday destinations in Europe um, for a lower budget traveler who is looking for some sunshine. And it's worth as well just pointing out that you've put in there the number of slides because quite often we'll do it and you might get just one slide or something yeah. and then you end up having to reprompt. So it's worth putting in there, isn't it, to give it a steer. Um, and it might yeah. be worth saying, you know, with with minimal text or something like that, or with no bullet points or something, minimal. whatever your kind of principles are, I guess, the slide design. Yeah, no bullet points. Um, let's just make sure we can do that. OK, so that's our prompt. So so I've gone into the GPT, which is the PowerPoint presentation. I put my prompt in. This is all still within chat GPT four. Uh, we've asked it to start thinking about stuff like most uh, on GPT, you'll see it drop into the menu of stuff that you've done on the past. So you can revisit it as well, which I think is really handy. So it's asking me to allow um, using this GPT, which is effectively an add on to chat GPT. So it's called slides GPT. So I'm going to click on allow that. And the reason why it's done that is because the output of this will sit on a slightly different link, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, and I just love the way it just kind of just spends a couple <laughs> of seconds thinking about it, doesn't it? So and, quick, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's see what it comes up with. It should give us a bit of a... I mean, like with anything up. like this, it's giving you a starting point, isn't it? And that's what we've yeah. said all along, particularly with slides, because we're quite um, particular about our slide design. Mm -hmm. So... But to get that, to get you off the ground and away from a blank piece of paper, it's it's really good. It's really good. So 
And just the time that it saves you researching for your content. I mean, sometimes this stuff takes people days, doesn't it? Yeah, and, yeah uh, it does me. It takes me days without even yeah. doing anything because I procrastinate <laughs> that much. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I've created a presentation on holiday destinations in Europe for a lower budget traveller looking for some sunshine. Presentation includes an introduction of four destinations known for their affordability and sunny climates. Here's a glimpse of what's included. I just love the text. <laughs> I love the way it talks. Interestingly, it's kept the bullet points, which oh, is, uh, you know, against what we asked it to do, but maybe that was um, a bit too far. Um, also interesting, a bit of funny text that's happened here um it's given us different pictures by the looks of it per destination mm -hmm. but to your point like it's a starting point isn't it so exactly and you would go back and you know you wouldn't take that verbatim anyway you're going to go back and amend it but it's mm. just that you've got everything where you need it you might want to change the images or you might want to use like dali for some mm. um ai images you know but you can play around with it once you've got it saved yeah yeah exactly so here we go so you can see it's taken us to a different site which is slides gpt but it's obviously connected to chat here are our slides oh that's interesting look it's corrected there the issue that we had on the preview but it's still got the bullet points yeah yeah and it showed us where it's taken the uh images from which is nice i think from sunshine Unsplash. on a budget i think we all need that at the minute yeah definitely it'd be nice wouldn't it okay so what I love about this, I mean, I love all of it at the moment, but when you hover over download, you can either download it as a PowerPoint or as Google. So a lot of people use Google Slides or you can just put it straight into a PDF, which is non-editable. So we want um, PowerPoint. OK, where's it going to ask me to save? Just into my files, my presentation. We can open it up ed and now edit it in PowerPoint. Um, so if we wanted to take out the bullets, for example, we can do that. If we wanted to change the font to something, uh, it's default to something like Arial or Poppins or Times New Rosen. We can move the, the graphic if we want. It gives us obviously that bit of warning that it's generated by AI, which I think is quite nice as well. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of conversation around whether we should be doing this stuff or now, but gives you a basic deck, doesn't it, to start from? Yeah, absolutely. And you could go into designer and have a play around with a completely different yeah. slide design, can't you? Um, but it's just that you've got the actual content in there ready to go. So, yeah. Doesn't like it. I think it's looking at this, this saying there's too many things on that slide for it to come up with a designer uh, okay. at the moment. But yeah, okay. because there's too many boxes, isn't there? See, there's yeah. a, a box that's title. We can mess around with this for days, couldn't we? But uh, yeah. there we go. Okay. Good. So that so, is a real time saver, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we've just done that in, what, 30 seconds. But you could think more thoughtfully about the type of prompt you want. You know, you could potentially play around with some colours to see if there's yep. specific colours that you want. Um, yep. Images, things like that. So, yeah, great stuff. I love that Yeah, one. so that's a good one. Certainly one for us l and as HR talent folk who use PowerPoint quite a lot, which is interesting. Um, the other one uh, you'll see going back to that left-hand side now is data analyst which I was particularly interested in this because I before these chat G, these GPT store or apps app store were available um, I was trying to analyze some data on spreadsheets just to see what the art of the possible was but it didn't really like it whenever I put kind of some some columns of dummy data into it I wasn't naming the columns properly for it to really understand on the spreadsheet mm -hmm. what it wanted me to do and I gave up because I thought, oh, you know, now it's getting a bit too technical for me on spreadsheets. And it wanted a kind of couple of formulas before it understood it. Whereas this data analyst tool um, is great. And the reason it's great is you can drag in. So here's just a spreadsheet of some dummy data that we've put together. And it doesn't have to. Um, it's, it, it doesn't have to query like the co of you putting the columns in certain titles and certain ways for it to understand it so it's I've literally just intuitive, isn't it? so intuitive yeah, yeah that's definitely the right word mm. um so I've then I've just dragged in some data nothing meaningful really but some information say that I want to understand um when 
say certain tickets for a, a live event were when were they purchased you know and how does that correspond or align against other activities so I'm going to ask it um I want to say something visual so provide me a visual representation of when each when the most tickets were purchased yeah so let's see what it comes back with it's funny because we've played around with this a few times, haven't we? And each time the prompt changes and each time we get the same thing. <laughs> yes. Which, which in itself is great, isn't it? Because it yeah. means you don't have... This is where the natural language processing benefit from Gen AI comes from, that you don't have to put in certain code like we would have had to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. So data includes order ID, order date, attendee status, name, event name, blah, 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 blah. Again, this is all dummy data. We're not putting personal data in. So it's had a look at... Um, what I've uploaded mm -hmm. and it's analyzing that which I think is so clever it, it really is and this is where you think wow the time it can save I mean look and then that gives you a really clear some really clear peaks doesn't it yeah of um of, of you know ticket purchases or whatever it is that you're analyzing you can start to make some really good decisions based on that really quickly yeah, like does anything compare against your social media posting, for example, or a webinar that you were talking about something or starting to give you that really nice insight from a marketing perspective, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. That's, it's given us that within seconds. And like I've not needed to be an Excel expert or a prompt engineer to get that level of information. So, yeah, absolutely. And I guess the question will be, you know, you've got to think about what data you're putting in there because we need to think about data protection yeah. or you wouldn't want to put secure financial business information because obviously it's going into the wider um, mm -hmm. LLM however mm -hmm. um, thinking about and using that in a way that that's useful um, there'll yeah. be a load of data that you can capture and use this for as well yeah so. I mean I don't need to know the names of the people that purchased no. those tickets I just yeah. need to know when for yeah, example so you can whip a load yeah. of that stuff out can't you just yeah. to keep in there what you need and what you feel comfortable I think that's a great shout so there's ways yeah. around it like there is with it with anything but just do it and and use it in a way that you feel really comfortable with but how much time yeah. can that save it, that would have like even just creating a bar chart or a, you know it's just yeah you know yeah. a lot of people just don't like excel because it is too complicated mm -hmm. so yeah that would be me yeah <laughs> You were having to play with some stuff yesterday as yeah, well. So Should I stop sharing and and you can you can share what we were doing? Yeah, what so you, what you were typical doing? Typical Haley style. It's it's um it, it's it's warm and fluffy. But we moved <laughs> um we moved house uh, in October, as you know, and um. Also, we... I love how your screen looks completely different to mine because you've got it in black and white, and I've got it in white. Oh black. yeah, oh yeah. Didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah. So um. I, I, we moved house um, in October and I and, and long story short I'm looking at each room in my house and I just getting to that point where we've been here a few months and I feel like I need to do something with it but I don't know where to start so I was playing around with this only yesterday um, when we kind of or when you showed me some of this stuff and I found on here that there is a uh, home design tool um, okay. da, da, da. I've got to find it now I think it was in lifestyle here it home is, Home Style, style Advisor. advisor. Mm. So I was like, oh, now that sounds interesting. So I clicked mm. on it. Um, and I put in there a picture of um, our front room. And um, mm. I haven't, I don't know if I've got that here to be able to do, actually, in the moment. It was on here. Uh, uh, I think I do. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to be sharing a picture of my front room with uh, with everybody. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Picture okay. of your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I put on here yesterday a picture of our front room. But what I then asked it to do with that is to create it might be, a color palette. If you were the column on the left, it might it sh should have remembered it from yesterday. Oh, it should have done, shouldn't it? Yeah. Sidebar. Yeah. That's it. Modern lounge, cozy go. navy. Ah, oh, there you go. She's got it. Look. Okay. So there we go. I put a picture of our lounge in there. And okay. I put on there, how can I modernize and make my lounge more cozy? I like navy blue, cream, and brown. 
Um, so it came up, first of all, as you can see here, your lounge is a wonderful foundation with its warm wood and flooring. <laughs> I love that. I'm like, yes, tell me more. Um, and then it sort of gave me, you know, six areas, like the colour palette, the furniture, the lighting, which is so important. So all these little mm -hmm. tips, I suppose, to bring this together, which in itself is actually really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and then it says at the bottom, I can generate a visual representation of these suggestions, if you like. I was like, oh, yes, please. Um, now, Ooh. obviously, that's not my... My, um, my front room and I was like oh I wish it could get a little bit closer to the actual room but it, okay. will, it will in time however what it well, I could you... see that working in your front room though exactly. the way they've done that yeah exactly so it gave me this this image and then I built on it again and said can you provide an image with more navy maybe a feature wall and with a wood burner fireplace because I'm mm -hmm. thinking let's see if we can get a bit closer so then it brings in something yeah. with more navy and with the fire in situ so you can get a feel for the colors but um, already I'm looking at the light fittings I'm like oh I, that you know I wouldn't have thought to go to something like that um so how useful yeah. is that um so just Good for inspiration isn't it something really simple it's really hard to find on Instagram or Google you mm. know the specifics of what you really want you can search it but you don't quite get close enough so um it's really helpful just to be able to re you know put more prompts in to get mm. closer to what it is that you're looking for um, yeah, so I wanted to share yeah, that one, really, because I thought it's just another way of using it uh, a bit more personally for anything mm. that, that might be helpful. Mm. Nice. So, Love yeah. that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. The other one that we were looking at yesterday was the the video, wasn't it? The, um, oh, where, that's what was right. it under? Oh, Scroll no. up again. It uh, might be easier for you to share this one, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll stop sharing again and come back to to your share because I think you'd put a few yeah, um, examples you have to in already set up a feed uh account and so you... going oh go on going back to explore GPTs again that menu so let's just get rid of the slides and what we've done so far um yeah the other one that I was really interested in was where is it where video GPT by V we had a play around with this yesterday so um, I said, so what did I say? Something like create a two minute uh, instructional video. So you have to give me a bit of info in terms of the type of video that you want um, on the benefits of using AI in education, education and learning uh, settings including subtitles and um, diverse uh, representation of learners. Okay. Just got a and couple it, of minutes left of this one, but let's see what this comes up with. Sorry, go this on. Is, no, I just, it's just mad that this is all just, you know, we're just playing around with this. What have we been here, 10 or 15 minutes? Mm. And we've done four different things. So, you know, if you actually spend an hour on one specific project here, you've got yeah. to think, like, how much you can get out of that if we can create yeah. videos and slides and everything else. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, look, I love the fact that it just even breaks down the section. So saying if we were going to write a video... Uh, th th this is how long it can take. If this aligns with your video, say continue uh, with your vision. Say continue. So let's say continue. And you can also make tweaks and changes in there as well, which is helpful at that point. So it gives yeah. that overview before going in and creating the video. Yeah. 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 So I could say, actually, I want this added or this taken out or more time on this or whatever. Yeah. And you'd have to do all that work before creating your own video anyway. So the more of that that you put in yourself, the better. Brilliant. It's so good. Okay, so now it's saying it's created the video. It's given me a couple of links. Does your video still need a few tweaks? Here's a suggestion how I could do it better. Share your feedback, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see what it's come up with. So let's click on watch video. So I... This is going to open a new page. It's going to <laughs> render the video. So quick. Oh, my God. Right. And I know the output's not going to be perfect, exactly what you want. But for a start of a 10, mm. 
this just blows my mind uh well it brings it up in a way that you can edit it and change it so again it's that starting point isn't it it's getting you off the ground giving you inspiration yeah yeah absolutely so it then gives you like you said the editing suite for the video um I've just put share sound on and I love the fact it like you'll make it like a tiktok for you Mm. and you know all that kind of stuff yeah um let's play it see what happens hey everyone Today, I want to talk about the incredible power of AI in education. Glowing Star. Imagine a world where Glowing learning is star. tailored to your unique <laughs> needs. Come from? With AI, personalized learning becomes a reality, enhancing your educational experience and boosting your learning outcomes. Interesting how Books sparkle. children. But that's not all. Um, in yeah. the AI also brings efficiency and oh, automation go, to the table, adults. freeing um, up more time for educators to focus yeah. on what they do best. Teaching. Graduation cap alarm clock. And let's not forget about engagement and this accessibility. AI-driven tools and avatars insane, make learning fun and accessible for everyone, including learners with diverse needs. I Rainbow laptop computer. But here's the real game changer, data-driven insights. AI can analyze vast amounts of educational data, uncovering valuable insights that help improve teaching strategies and student performance. Bar chart magnifying glass tilted left. <laughs> So let's embrace the transformative (laughs) potential of AI in education. Together, we can make education more inclusive, personalized, and effective. Globe showing Europe Africa sparkles. (laughs) Are you ready to unlock? (laughs) So enough of that, shall we? I love that. So So obviously picking up some stuff, isn't it? I wonder, and this might not be something for now, um, but it's worth looking at the scripting of that because obviously yes. you need to go. You, you know, I'm sure it'll be in there to edit it. We haven't got there yeah. yet because we're so early in, in having a play around with this, aren't we? But I'm sure there's going to be ways to go in and, and script edit some of that stuff out. But again, start for 10, isn't it? And just, yeah. and it gives you a, another tool to use, it takes you off somewhere yeah. else. So, um, awesome. Absolutely. And yeah, you like anything, you might need to upgrade um, that piece of software to have that editing piece or whatever. But for a startup, pretend just to start playing around and get comfortable with this stuff, it's just, it still blows my mind. Yeah. And it depends what you want to invest in, doesn't it? Like, there might yeah. be some things in here that you think, yeah, that will save us a fortune in this or that. Um, yeah. Whereas there might be other things that you don't want to, to pay yeah. for. So, yeah. yeah. Just, just, just knowing it's there. Uh, I yeah. think you'd be able to solve quite a few productivity or personal things just by tapping into that. And to just be like, this is where upskilling yourself comes in, isn't it? And playing around with it. And you might not have kind of played around with video before. And this is your first step in the door to it. So, yeah, yeah exciting time. So I hope that's been helpful. We just wanted to put this kind of interim episode in just to give you an update on some of the stuff that we're doing and where we see potential value in people using this. Um, again, this is the paid version of GPT, chat GPT. So just worth bearing that in mind. Okay. So we wrap up and, and finish, finish this episode. I yeah. think we'll be, uh, we'll be playing with more of those uh, apps in the, in the GPT store. I think as, as we go on, right. Yeah. I think I might get quite distracted by that. That's the problem. <laughs> it'll, do the, it'll do the opposite. I know, yeah, absolutely. Well and truly go down the uh, the rabbit hole. But hey, thank you so much Brilliant for stuff. watching this episode and we will see you on the next episode. Thanks very much.